Have you recently felt a shift deep within your body, as if you were transforming into something more than just flesh and blood? This isn't your imagination acting up. You're transitioning into a crystalline-based body. This journey marked by seven distinct stages will bring you closer to a higher state of being. But these changes can be scary for those who don't understand what's going on as you navigate them. You'll notice changes in your physical, emotional, and spiritual self, some of which you won't comprehend unless you mentally prepare for them. Let's answer those questions by exploring each of these stages. The last of these is the most vivid of all, awakening. The first stage of the transition is the awakening. This is where you begin to sense that there is more to life than what meets the eye. You start to question the material world and feel a deep inner calling. It's as if a veil has been lifted allowing you to glimpse a reality that is far richer and more complex than you ever imagined you. Rewatching this video precisely because of this stage, but despite the awakening being just the first stage, there's a reason why it's also the most unsettling of all seven. That's because awakening challenges your long-held beliefs and perceptions. It's a bit like Plato's allegory of the cave, where the prisoner once freed discovers the world outside the shadows. He has always known in this awakening. You start to see the light. The journey of awakening often involves shedding old layers and stepping into the unknown, much like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly as you navigate this awakening. You might find yourself drawn to spiritual texts, ancient philosophies, and esoteric teachings. The Bhagavad Gita, for example, speaks of the soul's journey and the eternal nature of consciousness, offering insights that resonate deep during this stage. The idea of awakening is not new. It has been explored by many spiritual traditions and thinkers throughout history. Take, for instance, the philosopher Rumi A., 13th century Persian mystic, whose poetry often touches upon the theme of spiritual awakening. Rumi described this process as a reunion with the bee. He loved a return to the source of all existence. He wrote the breeze at dawn has secrets to tell. You don't go back to sleep. This awakening is a call to rise and explore the deeper truths of life in Eastern traditions. The concept of awakening is often associated with enlightenment in Buddhism. This is referred to as bodhi, a state of understanding and wisdom that comes from seeing things as they truly are. The Buddha himself underwent a profound awakening under the Bodhi tree, leading to the realization of the Four Noble Truths and the path to nirvana, a as you awaken, you may experience a shift in your perception. Colors might seem brighter, sounds clearer, and your intuition sharper. This heightened awareness is a sign that you are beginning to tune in to the higher frequencies of the crystalline-based body. It's a bit like adjusting a radio to catch a clearer signal. Once you find the right frequency, everything becomes more vivid and real. Emotionally, this stage can be a roller coaster. The exhilaration of discovering new truths can be interspersed with moments of doubt and confusion. You might feel a sense of I, salation as your old ways of thinking no longer, fit into your new reality. This is perfectly natural. During this time, it's crucial to be gentle with yourself. Seek out like-minded individuals who are also on a spiritual path. Sharing your experiences with others can provide support and validation. Spiritual communities, both online and offline, can offer a sense of belonging and help you navigate the complexities of this awakening process as you awaken. You may also begin to experience what Jung referred to as archetypes, universal symbols and themes, that emerge from the collective unconscious. These can appear in dreams, visions, or even in waking life, offering insights into your personal and spiritual development. By paying attention to these archetypal patterns, you can gain a deeper understanding of your soul's journey. Navigating the awakening stage involves embracing change and uncertainty. It requires a willingness to let go of old beliefs and habits that no longer serve you. This can be challenging, but it is also incredibly liberating as you shed these old layers, you make space for knee, your growth and transformation, and also make space for the next stage. Have you felt like your body is changing in ways you hadn't experienced before? Shifts in your physical body? That's not a coincidence. As the second stage of the transition is the shift in your physical body, 
But do these changes manifest exactly? It starts with an increase in your sensitivity to energy and a heightened awareness of the subtle vibrations around you. This is because your body is becoming more attuned to higher frequencies, aligning itself with the crystalline energies that are e. Entering your field, this process can sometimes be uncomfortable as old energies and blockages are released, making way for new, more refined vibrations. These new sensations can include tension, tightness, or discomfort in various parts of the body, often corresponding to the areas where emotional energy has been stored. For example, unresolved grief might manifest as a heaviness in the chest, while suppressed anger could lead to tension in the shoulders or neck. But not all of these changes are negative. You might also notice changes in your energy level. As an overall well-being as you transition, you also free up energy that was previously tied up in holding on to the past. This can result in increased vitality and a greater sense of aliveness. You might also find that physical ailments or discomforts that were linked to emotional blockages begin to heal, F enhancing your overall health and well-being in general. This stage of physical transformation can be compared to the process of alchemy where base metals are transmuted into gold just as the alchemist works to purify and elevate the material your body is undergoing a similar refinement. This concept is echoed. In various spiritual traditions, such as the taste practice of internal alchemy, which seeks to transform the body and mind through, through disciplined practice and meditation, by embracing this transformation, you are allowing yourself to become a vessel for higher consciousness, capable of holding and transmitting the light of the divine transformation is not always a linear process, and you may encounter setbacks and challenges along the way. However, each step you take brings you closer to your goal, even if it doesn't always feel that way. Remember that you are not alone on this path. Many others have walked this road before you, and their wisdom and guidance can provide invaluable support. Going through this stage successfully prepares you for the difficulties of the third one, which is where most people falter. Emotional purification as you ascend old wounds and unresolved emotions may come to the surface. This can be a challenging phase as you are forced to confront and release the emotional baggage that has been weighing you down. However, this purific Asian is necessary for your growth and evolution. It's like cleaning out a cluttered room. You must clear the old to make space for the new. By addressing these deep-seated issues, you create a clean slate ready to be filled with positive life-affirming energies. You might feel a surge of intense emotions such as sadness, anger, fear, or anxiety. These feelings can be overwhelming at times as you confront aspects of your past that you may have buried deep within. However, this confrontation is essential for healing. It's only when you face these emotions head-on they to you can allow yourself to process and release them, creating space for new positive energies to enter your life. Emotional purification is also linked to the concept of the dark KN of the soul, a term used in various spiritual traditions to describe a period of intense inner turmoil and transformation. During this time time, you may feel as though you are in a state of darkness and confusion, but this is actually a precursor to spiritual awakening. Just as the dawn follows the darkest part of the night, emotional purification leads to a renewed sense of clarity, lightness, and inner peace engaging in creative activities like drawing, painting, or playing music can also be a way to navigate your emotional purification stage. That's because these activities allow you to channel your emotions into something tangible, providing a cathartic release and a sense of accomplishment as you continue to ascend, you may begin to experience the most surprising of the seven stages, one most people fail to prepare for because of how sudden it can be deeper connection to the universe. You might notice changes in your percept, tie in an awareness feeling more attuned to the natural world and the subtle energies of others. This heightened sensitivity is a mind that your vibrational frequency is increasing, bringing you closer to the crystalline state. These states can be marked by profound moments of clarity, bliss, and a deep sense of connection to the universe. It's as if the boundaries of your physical self dissolve, allowing you to merge with the infinite. This experience is often described as a state of oneness, 
where you feel a profound unity. With all that is this tran, Sishin also brings about a heightened sensitive id to our environment. You might find yourself drawn to spending more time in nature, seeking solace in the tranquility of a forest, the rhythmic waves of the ocean, or the vast expanse of a starry night. And there's a reason for this one deeply studied both by modern scientists and ancient scholars. Nature, with its inherent crystalline structures, becomes a sanctuary where we can recharge and realign with our higher selves the crisp air, the scent of pine, the gentle rustle of leaves. Each element of nature acts as a bridge connecting us to the crystalline energies as you move through this stage. Imagine moments where your mind is crystal clear unburdened by the usual clutter of everyday thoughts. These are moments of profound clarity, where everything seems to make sense, and you have an intuitive understanding of your place in the universe. This clarity can feel like a spotlight shining directly on your path, illuminating truths that were previously hidden. It's as if the fog of confusion lifts, revealing the vast landscape of your inner and outer worlds. It's a Joe. I that comes from within independent of external. Circumstances this inner joy can be so profound that it brings tears to your eyes not out of sadness, but because you are touched by the beauty and wonder of existence. Once more, we turn back to the Sufi mystic Rumi for more insight on this stage. Rumi spoke of losing oneself to become one with the divine, a process he likened to a drop of water merging into the ocean in Buddhism. This state of oneness is often referred to as nirvana, the ultimate liberation from the cycle of birth and rebirth simul. Early in Hinduism, it is described as achieving makkah, the realization of the self's unity with Brahman, the universal spirit. These connections are not just about feelings of bliss and connection. They also bring about profound insights and realizations. You may find yourself understanding complex concepts with ease, seeing patterns and connections that were previously obscure. This expanded awareness can lead to creative breakthroughs and a deeper understanding of your life's purpose. It's like tapping into a universal library of knowledge where answers to your deepest questions are readily available, however. Everything has its downside and we're exploring these stages to also prepare for their negative effects in our daily life. The intensity of these states can be overwhelming at times and it can be difficult to integrate these experiences into your routine. You might feel disoriented or find it hard to relate to the mundane aspects of everyday existence. Approach these experiences with patience and compassion, allowing yourself the time and space to process and integrate them to to make things easier. Try implementing grounding practices in your daily life. Grounding helps you stay connected to the earth and your physical body, providing stability amidst the expansive energies you're experiencing. Simple practices like walking barefoot on the grass, spending time in nature, or engaging in physical activities can help you stay grounded. Visualizing roots extending from your body into the earth can also create a sense of stability and connection. These practices not only help you navigate these heightened states, but also prepare you to embrace tea, hem more fully allowing you to experience their benefits. Without losing your equilibrium and never underestimate the importance of rest and sleep as you transition, your body and mind need time to integrate these heightened states of consciousness. Ensuring you get enough rest and quality sleep is crucial. Pay attention to your body's signals and permit yourself to rest when needed. During sleep, your body can heal and integrate the experiences of the day, making it a vital part of your transformation. We mentioned changes in your physical body, but the next stage is marked by a specific physical shift that warrants a stage of its own because of how debilitating it can be. Sharp pains in your spine as you transition into a crystalline-based body. You might experience sharp pains or a surge of energy flowing through your spine. This sensation is both discomforting and profoundly aligning, unlike ordinary back pain with clear physical causes. This kind of pain reflects your spine's efforts to integrate higher energies into your being. There's a reason for this. The spine, often referred to as the central pill, layer of our physical and energetic bodies, plays a crucial role in this transformation. 
In many spiritual traditions, the, the spine is seen as the conduit for spiritual energy often symbolized by the kundalini serpent in Hinduism. As this energy ascends, it clears blockages and aligns your chakras leading to higher states of consciousness. This process can cause discomfort as your body adjusts to the influx of higher frequencies when you feel these sharp pains or surges of energy. It is a sign that your spine is becoming more attuned to higher realms. Of consciousness, this adjustment is necessary for your spiritual growth. Even though it can be physically and emotionally challenging to ease this adjustment, consider practices that support spinal health and alignment. Gentle stretching exercises, such as yoga, can help to maintain flexibility and ease tension in your spine. Poses like cat-cow child's pose and cobra are particularly beneficial for spinal alignment and energy flow. Visualization techniques can also be helpful to ease the pain. Imagine a bright healing light moving up and down your spin, clearing any blockages and allowing energy to flow. Freely, the sixth stage is the one where most people falter in the transition simply because of how much it can disrupt their daily life and relationships. If they don't navigate it intelligently, you'll experience such deep emotional and energetic shifts that you'll be overcome by an unexpected flow of tears. Every so often. Unexpected flow of tears during this stage, you might find yourself crying over things that wouldn't normally affect you. Beautiful music, a kind gesture, or even a poignant memory. These tears are not just a release, but a way of tuning into the higher frequencies of love, compassion, and unity. They help to dissolve the barriers between your old self and your emerging crystalline self. That's because tears help to clear away the old dense energy IES that no longer serve you, making room for the lighter, more refined energies of the crystalline state navigating this stage involves honoring your tears as a sacred part of your journey. Create a safe and nurturing space for yourself where you can cry freely. This might mean finding a choir to spot in nature a cozy corner in your home or a special meditation area where you feel at peace. Allow the tears to flow without resistance, knowing that they are washing away the old and making room for the new tears are not just a personal experience, but a part of the collective transformation occurring as more people awaken to higher states of consciousness. As you release your emotional baggage, you contribute to the collective healing of humanity. This shared journey towards a crystalline-based body is a return to our true nature, a process of remembering who we are beyond the conditioning of the physical world to support this release. Try connecting with a supportive community or network. Sharing your experiences with like-minded individuals who understand your journey can provide you with a sense of belonging and validation. Whether it's through local spiritual groups, online communities, or trusted friends, having a support system can definitely make the sudden overflows of tears easier to manage these connections, can offer insights, encouragement, and companionship making the journey less so. Literary and more enriching another powerful tool to try out is breath work. Deep conscious breathing helps to calm the nervous system and can trigger the release of pent-up emotions. Practices like pranayama, which involves controlled breathing techniques, can help to balance your energy and provide a sense of inner calm. And now for the final stage of the transition. We have the most life-changing process you'll go through through in your spiritual journey. Sudden changes in your behavior. You'll soon notice how your behavior changes radically. The thing, as you loved previously, no longer resonate with your new, crystalline state. This can be challenging as it often involves letting go of old patterns and relationships that no longer serve our highest good. However, it also opens the door to deeper, more meaningful connections with those who align with our true selves. These relationships become a source of support and inspiration, enriching our journey. Ancient myths and parables offer profound insights into the seventh stage. The story of the phoenix rising from its ashes to be reborn symbolizes our own proceed, SS of transformation and renewal. In many ways, the shift towards a crystalline-based body, is a return to our true nature. 
It is a process of remembering who we are beyond the conditioning and limitations of the physical world. By undergoing this shift, we strip away the layers of the false self, revealing the radiant, crystalline essence that lies within this metamorphosis, though sometimes painful leads to a deeper understanding of our divine purpose and potential. As you continue on this path, remember that each step you take brings you closer to your Christi. Align self, embrace the changes in your routine, and behavior as signs of your transformation trust in the process of and know that you are supported by the universe and the wisdom of those who have walked this path before you this is an invitation to live more fully to embrace your true essence and to shine your unique light into the world i hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching